Lesson four, page 85, develop an understanding of missing edits. Model it. Number one, use seven counters. Break apart seven in different ways to put some in the cup. So I am going to draw seven dots. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? It says put counters for the part you know into the cup. Well, if we're talking about the part we know, we have to go in and we have to label our parts and the whole. Here it says find 7 minus 5. Ooh, there's that minus symbol. So I'm going to circle whole minus because we know a whole minus a part equals a part. Say with me. A whole minus a part equals the part. Equals the part. Okay? So we know that the whole is 7. The part we know is 5. So we're going to move 5 of the dots into the cup. 1, 2, 3, 4, new line, or 5. Good. Now, I was moving my dots. You can draw 5 dots just like I did. And it's okay if it's not inside of the cup. So here we have five. So what is my missing add end or the missing part? How many dots did we have left? We had two dots left, right? So we have five. And I'm going to write the number six underneath there. And then seven, five, six, Seven, like a count on strategy. Five, six, seven. So the missing part is two. Okay, let's look at this one. Find seven minus four. Whole minus. We have a whole minus a part equals, equals the part, right? Here's my plus symbol. We know that whenever we see a plus symbol, that it is surrounded by parts. The plus symbol always has those parts. So four is a plus, I'm sorry, a part, and blank is a part. A part plus plus a part equals the whole. Okay, here's 7 minus 4. Whole minus a part equals a part. So we have whole minus part equals part, right? So we've got everything labeled. If we have 7 dots, okay, it says put counters for the part you know. If we have 7 dots, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dots. And the part we know is four, right? Here's the part that we know is four. I can put four into the cup. One, two, three, four. Okay? So the part I knew was four. The other part has to be what is left over. Four, five, six, seven. That added up to seven, right? Because we know we count on from the part up to the whole. So three plus four is seven. Nice job. Let's move over to page 86. On my pen. We are continuing on for missing parts, missing add-ins. Okay. So if we go through and we label part, part, whole, okay, a part plus a part equals 
the whole or a whole minus the part will give you the part, okay? So here, here we have an eight minus, oop, there's that minus sign, so I need to put whole minus the part, right? Here's a plus, that's my part, copy, a part plus the part equals the whole, right? Whole. Here's our eight minus, that means I have a whole, right? We have the whole minus the part equals the part, right? Okay, next one, here we have nine take away six, whole minus, whole minus a part equals a part, right? Whole minus part equals part, okay? Here's my plus symbol. Look at your symbols and fill in the puzzle. A part plus a part. So everything around the plus symbol has to be a part. A part plus a part equals the whole. Here's 9 minus 6. Whole minus, right? Whole minus part equals part, okay? Equals, are we gonna let me write? What happened to my tool? Equals the, I'm not sure what happened, part. Okay, so you can go back. I want you to try these problems on your own, okay? So it says to draw the counters that you keep. So if you start number one with, if you start number one or number two, it has four plus what? We count what we keep, right? So four is already here. And then I'm going to draw. A five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to draw four dots right there. So my missing part would be four. But, and the missing part here would be four. And the missing part here would be four. I want you to go through and solve all of the rest of these problems on your own. You can do it. Let's count backwards from 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5,